Hello everybody, this is Graham, I'm sending the Collector 75, welcome to another Transformers Generation 1 Micro Masters review. Uh, this is quite the highly desired Skyhopper. Um, and I say that, um, I never really understood why, but, um, well, well, why people say that, but to be honest, when I, when I got this one, I realised why. Because it's actually pretty, pretty cool. I mean, some people might not think that, but I, I certainly do. Um, I mean, apart from the fact that these are cool, sort of like, oh, it's not supposed to do that. That's why next time I'll pick it up from there. Um, obviously, it's a pretty cool helicopter. I'm going to move it to the side here. Um, here's the box. This usual, like, like I've said before, it's the usual sort of 1989-ish box. Um, this one is actually a pretty decent condition box. Um, obviously, there you've got both modes. And then you come around to the back. Um, we've got a little bio of uh, Skyhopper there, and obviously the proper tech specs, and again the little dodgy artwork. If I just raise that up, showing some other people, you got Ground Shaker there as well, which I think I reviewed quite a long time ago now. Um, yes, I mean even got the innards for this one. I can't remember how much this cost me—15, 20 quid at the time when I bought it. From a guy in Shepparton, I think. Can't, don't think this is an eBay. I very much doubt it was eBay. Um, yeah, never interested in it when I was a kid. Like I was about 14, 15 at the time. Um, but once you get this, you realise it's actually pretty cool. And I wish I'd got a hell of a lot more of the Micro Masters when I was around then. Uh, though by then my interest in Transformers would have waned slightly. Um, so obviously he comes with his usual like Micro Master. This is a repainted. Storm Cloud from the Strike Patrol, I believe. Um, he's not too bad. He's got at least an articulation in the arms, which is pretty cool. And he does turn into a nice fighter jet. I, I can't remember offhand exactly what type of jet it is uh, based off of, but you know, it's it's all right. It's a pretty cool one actually. It was one of my favourites out in the Air Strike Patrol. And this one does come with some added stickers to put on the wings and the tail fin there. Um, and that's pretty cool. So you can leave him to one side for the moment. Um, and then we just get on to the actual Skyhopper helicopter base type thing. I actually really like it. He's got some obviously missiles there. He's got a little gun at the front. Uh, the rotor blade does obviously spin. The back rotor blade does spin as well. And then I just love this. I'm not sure exactly what the bloody hell it is. It probably says in the instruction booklet or whatever. But I can just imagine it sort of sweeping in um, and... Is it a magnet maybe, or is it a weapon? I don't know, but it looks pretty damn cool, wherever it is. And you can see it sweeping in and like just, I don't know, magnetizing someone up or just doomsday beams or whatever the one, you know. I think that look pretty damn cool. So anyway, and that bit, oh, don't pick it up from there because it just comes off. I mean, it's, it's all right over all out. It's just that don't pick it up from there. Um, so yeah, I mean, I love it. And then obviously, you know, when you've got little, what's his name here? Oh, actual sky hopper sitting in there or whatever and pile it in the damn thing i think it looks pretty pretty cool i just i just i just really like it he doesn't it sort of does fall over unfortunately so there we go now we're going to get him out let's transform this it's not taking off all the weapons this is where i really need a picture <laughs> picture of it in um base mode really because these things, I, I don't usually transform that often. I mean, I can't remember the last time I got this out. You're talking over at least five years ago, at least. Probably longer. Now we're going to take that off there. These sort of turn round. There we go. That's going to spin out. That rotates around. Um, this bit over the back, it does raise up somehow. I can never remember how now. I think these bits fold down. Like so. Oh, bloody hell. Ah. Right, so you get them folded down. This bit then should raise up. Or maybe it rotates up first. How does this rotate up? Uh, oh, they always come out of a little bit that you just cannot figure out. Right, so I love it how these bases always seem to do it to me. I'll get so far and then that just comes up this bit. Because I haven't transferred it so long, I forget exactly how. Um, and obviously it is a very stiff joint. Um, what it does is it doesn't bend over. What you've got to do is this bit just pushes down and it's a very tight joint in there. That's why it just fiddling about a bit, just won't free it up. But anyway, that folds all the way down and into position like that. Then obviously these just rotate out to the sides. 
quite so. And then that is the core base done. Uh, we take this off the front. Does this actually rotate up? Ah, yes, this rotates around like so. And that gives you then his type of radar dish by just leaving it exactly where it was. Um, we can take his rotor blade. Does his rotor blade actually go on this mode? I don't think it does, if I'm honest. I suppose you can put it here. That's where one picture has it put anyway. And then you can just sort of put these little guns in various different places around, like so. And then this little gun will go, um, it's got it under here on the picture. That don't really work. How would you get a gun under there? Anyway, you can put it literally anywhere you want. You could even have it just hanging off the side here if you wanted it to. It's, you know, it's that's the beauty of these little play sets. Um, this is supposed to go over here. I'm not totally keen on that. It's like a little standy thing. Um, and you can put these. Oh, hang on. I've almost forgot another bit. I forgot a bit off my last review of Sky Stalker. Uh, you can rotate these little bits out. That's it. That makes it a little bit better, doesn't it? That one goes here. And then you can fit these on, and I like these because obviously, like I say, most of these can then link up to other Micro Master sets. Uh, apart from these ones, these ones aren't these are just plain, but you can swap these all over, so you know you're not limited to putting any particular ramp in any particular place, not if you don't want to. And then you can put this one just on the front here, or you could put it on the side, it doesn't really matter. And then obviously this one would link up to another set. And and there you have it, there is Skyhopper in his base mode. And again, you can take your racetrack patrol or any other micro masters you've got, put these on in the little ramps. You can have one standing here, you can have a man in the guns, um, all manner of kind of things, really. I, th I think these little play sets are really, really cool. Um, again, I don't really know how much this one goes for these days. Um, but it's it's actually really cool. I really like it. I love this this little place right here. Um, it just looks it just looks really good. Um, I love the little missiles in here. Shame none of them actually work or fire or anything like that. But it just looks really cool. Right. Um, I don't think I've got any more to say about this set other than if you can find a really decent one in good condition, um, it's definitely well worth picking up. Um, just for displaying this in this. Uh, configuration alone um, but usually I, you just see the helicopter main body on its own without none of the accessories and usually that's 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 not really worth it in my opinion um, yeah but if you can get one it, it's really good with all the accessories anyway right so this has been Graham the Collector 75 I'll see you all next time bye for now